What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. I happen to have something very special and exciting next to me. Oh, wait, actually, I have two very special and exciting things next to me. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that these are prototype units. These are not functioning units, but everything about the look of them is basically what the new Xboxes are going to look like. So they are not working units. They are prototypes, not functioning. But I'm still so excited because ever since two E3s ago, when Xbox announced the Xbox Series X, I have been so so excited and we don't really get console releases very often so the fact that console season is upon us is very very exciting xbox also just recently announced the xbox series s it is their smallest console yet and it is really really small i've seen so many different memes with the series x as well as now the series s and honestly i'm kind of digging them both this is a very very basic look and I'm surprised how, why people are like, I hate it. I'm like, I don't even care. With the specs and the things that are gonna come along with this Xbox, you can look like whatever you want. The Xbox Series X will deliver four times the processing power of an Xbox One. With support for up to 120 frames per second, Xbox Series X allows developers to exceed standard 60 frames per second output in favor of heightened realism or fast paced action. Now the Series S is gonna be the all digital. You can have 512 gigs of storage, but you also do have the option for the Seagate expansion cards. So you can get up to one terabyte of external storage. You can also get the expansion card for the Series X but since this does only have 512 gigs, you might need the expansion, whereas you might not need it for the X. It really just depends on what you need. The Xbox Series S was designed for faster load times, higher frame rates, and richer, more dynamic worlds, all in the smallest Xbox yet. So the Series S is gonna be $299, where the Series X is going to be $499. But what I really like that Microsoft did was they have introduced kind of like a bundle payment type of thing. So if you wanna get one of the new Xboxes as well as the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can do so for, I believe, $34.99, with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for 24 months, you get the Xbox Series X, or for $24.99 for 24 months, you can get the Xbox Series S with the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. That is a lot to say. I don't even know if I said that correctly because it was so much. Basically, I just wanted to give you a little look at what they're gonna look like. This really does have more of like the PC look to it, and this has like the traditional console look. It's really small. It does have, I have it on the wrong side, but it does have these like little feet, little rubber feet at the end. So I'm gonna assume it probably goes that way. Also I love with the Series X, they have like the green throwback to the original Xbox type of look up there. The Series X does have space for a physical disc. Also have the ventilation on the top. In the back, we do have room for the storage expansion, HDMI, and basically your normal ports. Now I brought some old friends along to give you guys kind of a comparison. Since we are only talking about hardware here, let's take a little look. Now I wish I had an original Xbox, but unfortunately I do not. But I do have an Xbox 360. So this Xbox Series S compared to the Xbox 360, my gosh, it's so, this is uh, the Star Wars edition, but it's so small. Look at that, small. So, okay, let's put these in order. These are all my sisters, but I also have um, very similar ones at my house. Holy crap. I used to put that on my backpack and travel places. Big. And then we have the Xbox One X, a little bit more smaller, compact compared to the Xbox One. I'm actually shook how big this is. This is in fact their smallest console yet. And now the Xbox Series X is definitely a little bit more rectangular, but compared to how big the Xbox One was, I'm shook. But Xbox just recently announced the pricing as well as the availability. You can actually pre-order September 22nd and it launches on November 10th. There's definitely gonna be a lot more videos about these two devices. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon for a new video.